If you're an Octopus Energy customer with a smart meter, then you may have had the emails from them about the free electricity sessions they've been running. Well, if you have Home Assistant running your smart home and want to make the most of these sessions, then I've put together an automation that can help make your life a bit easier. So the idea behind these free electricity sessions is that on certain days there's too much energy going into the grid. So that might be from solar farms on sunny days or wind farms on windy days. Normally that will go to waste because suppliers could be asked to curtail their production to keep the grid stable. So instead of doing that, Octopus are asking people to use it for free. You need a smart meter because they need to know how much you used and they'll only let you have your energy for free over and above what you would normally use at that time of day. So if you normally use half a kilowatt hour, you'll still pay for that half a kilowatt hour, but anything you use on top of that is free and they credit your account about a week later. Okay, let's set the scene for the automation then. I've got two Give Energy batteries in my garage and I want to make sure that they charge from the grid during that hour. I have special settings on them to restrict their power output, so I need to change those beforehand and set them back again afterwards. I also have a heat pump and I want to boost my hot water tank during that hour too. Then hopefully the car is at home so I'll need to set that to start and stop charging for the session too. You all have your own requirements and they'll almost certainly be different to mine so what I'm going to show you in this video is the basic construct of the automation. You can then put in your own before and after actions and I'll show you what I've done in my case too. Please don't be asking me how to automate the plasma cannon that you got off eBay or your full-size electric train set. I won't have a clue, okay? I just need to make that clear because I do get some proper random comments and requests when I put these sort of videos out. We're going to start by creating some helpers in Home Assistant. So let's scroll down to Settings, Devices and Services, Helpers up at the top and create helper down at the bottom. Now the first type we're going to create is a date and or time and we're going to call this free electricity start time and try and name them exactly the same as I am here because it will make the rest of the uh, automation later on a lot easier for you. Uh, we're going to input time only and click on create. Uh, right now we need to create another helper this time we're going to create one of a type of drop down and we're going to call this free electricity dash session length. Okay, we're going to add an option for 60, which will be 60 minutes, 90 for 90 minutes, and why not 120 in case they start adding two hour sessions. So let's click on create. Now let's head on over to the dashboard and we're going to edit that, add a section, add a card and I'm going to add a card of type entities, there we go. And let's give this a name of octopus free electricity, uh, I don't want to show the header toggle. Get rid of the ones that are already there and we're going to add free electricity start time and free electricity session length. Click on save and done. And we've got a little card on our dashboard that will let us edit those values quite easily. We don't always know how long these sessions will last. So far, all of them have been an hour long, but they could be longer or shorter in the future. This dashboard card will let us easily tell the automation when the session is going to start and how long it will last in minutes. We'll come back to this card in a minute because our next task is to create an automation. So let's pop on down to settings, automations and scenes and create automation. We're going to create a new automation, so a totally empty one, not based on any templates at all. Now the trigger is going to be a time-based one. So we'll select that and it's a value of a date or time helper. And this one is free electricity start time. So now we're going to go down to the action section, which is called then do in the uh, new version of Home Assistant, and we're going to add an action. Now these are going to be the things that you want to happen when the session starts. So I've got an example here, uh, which will be, I'm going to turn on, I'm going to choose an entity of my water heater. So I'm going to boost the hot water. Uh, now we need to add another action. 
and we want to wait for time to pass. So it's a delay. Now just stick in one minute there to start with and then you can edit this whole section in YAML and you see how it jumps into code. Now this minutes section you need to replace with this little bit of uh, configuration here. So no, it was very important to use the same uh, entity names when you created those helpers um, earlier on because now that means it will match these values here. If you use different names, you've got to figure out what your entity IDs are and change them here. Uh, so we're delaying for however long the session length is. Okay, and then when the session is finished, we're going to add another action and we're going to turn off, choose entity, hot water boost, and click on save. I'm going to give this a name of octopus free electricity and save. Okay, let's go back up to our dashboard now and we're going to edit this card and click on the little edit thing there and we're going to add in octopus free electricity automation and click on save and done. Now the idea is if your saving session, saving session, free electricity session starts at one o'clock in the afternoon and lasts for one hour, you are now good to go. So you just set your time there, set the session length and make sure the automation is turned on and it'll just run at that time. Now, in normal circumstances, you do want to make sure you leave this automation turned off just like that though. So that's the basic construct of the automation. I'll put all of this on my website too, so as you can copy and paste the template configuration. So check out the description for that link. If you're not an Octopus Energy customer and have made it this far through the video, then you're probably wanting to switch to them yourself. So as you can start getting free electricity too. If you do switch, then please use my referral code, which is on the screen right now, and we'll both get £50 of credit for free. Anyway, let me quickly show you what I've done with that automation. So in my automation, it's pretty much the same as I've just shown you. It triggers at that start time from the helper. And then in the actions, I've got uh, a, uh, an automation that manages how much power one of my batteries is outputting. Uh, so I turn that off. Uh, I then set another battery to its maximum charge rate because I limit that to uh, three kilowatts overnight, but this can actually do six kilowatts. Uh, because I'm using the Give TCP uh, add-on for uh, managing Give Energy batteries, uh, I like to put 15 second delays between commands so as they don't get uh, confused and missed. They can be sort of uh, missed commands if I uh, don't put a delay between them. Uh, I then force charge my battery for uh, the length of the session, another delay, force charge another battery. Um, I've got a Daikin air source heat pump, so I set the water heater to boost. Uh, that doesn't normally last for an hour, that just lasts for um, maybe 20-25 minutes or so. Um, I then have to do a few little tweaks to my car charger. So I'm turning on uh, plug and go mode. It's a give energy um, EV charger. So I have to turn on plug and go mode and then I wait a few seconds for that to apply. And then I set it to grid mode. So as it doesn't just charge from excess solar, I wait a little bit and then I start the charge. Then I've got that little wait for session to finish, which is the uh, wait for time delay uh, that I've shown you. Uh, after it's all over, I enable the battery management limit the charge rate on the all-in-one again, uh, turn off the car charging, and that's it. Uh, quite a uh, complicated little set of actions if you had to do it manually, but when you automate it like this, it just does it all for you. And that's it. I hope you found this useful. If you did, then please give this video a like. A big thank you to my channel members listed here for supporting the channel. If you'd like to get early access to my videos before anyone else, then details on joining as a member are down in the description. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for free to see more from me. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.